Hi, my name's Luke, and this is a uh, video about how to improvise. This one particularly is about the play space. Um, this came, this idea came from a meditation I was doing before uh, making this video and thinking about who is the audience of this space? Who is the audience for this video? And so I went into a meditation felt the music and felt people approaching, coming into that. And this is a space that's familiar uh, to me when I was young, in my early 20s, I remember doing a workshop where I had to draw five things that I love. <clears throat> and um, one of the things I drew was just like these swirls of colors and I called it the puddle of love. And uh, it's somewhere that I would go if I was listening to music or really, you know, at a concert dancing with people or um, really, you know, having some good belly laughs with somebody. Uh, the puddle of love where the edges are, are blurry and it's like everything feels brighter. Um, I'm going to play a little bit of the music that I'm going to talk about today. Uh, this is a live stream improvisation that I did on April 27th. This was the third Facebook live stream that I did. And my intention for this one was to play something more upbeat and let it get a little bit wild. The first two that I'd done were really kind of mellow and slow. <laughs> Especially if there's judgment, like, this guy is foolish, this is nonsense, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, it's like there becomes a huge concrete wall between you and the puddle of love. Um, a couple, well, one, one story that comes to mind. I went to see Michael Franti and Spearhead. You know, the concert's happening, that kind of thing. And he's like, you know, put your hands together, that kind of thing. So we're putting our hands, and I'm like, oh, okay, I actually feel more engaged in this by putting my hands together. I wasn't really feeling that impulse before. And then he's like, you know, all the ladies say, whoa, whatever, and all the ladies do that. And, you know, you can feel the blood starting to flow like we're getting more into it. Uh, everybody, I don't know if we were already standing up, but like, stand up. So we're okay, we're standing up. And then he's like, all the guys, take your shirts off. And I was like, well, okay, that's getting really... But taking my shirt off, wow, I feel kind of extra uh, liberated here. Like he's inviting me into myself, um, but I needed that push. Like I wasn't gonna just take my shirt off on my own. I, I don't know if I even would have stood up on my own. 
or clap my hands or whatever it is. Um, so there's something about the, uh, the invitations and I can give myself those invitations now that I know, oh, if I want to feel, uh, surrendered, if I want to feel in the flow, if I want to feel, you know, life pouring through me, here's these things I can do. I can get involved. <laughs> I love that part. My hand slipped off there by accident, get that open string. And then it's like, I, I react to it. Whoa, I'm going to rewind that part. That's an important part about the puddle of love too. In music therapy uh, school, when I was studying music therapy, we would do this thing where it was like, like, let our music, you know, this is with my classmates, support that person. You know, it's like pick somebody, let them get so free, like whatever sound they make, whatever they do, all the music is holding them and catching them and kind of buoying them. And I see like, like, uh, you know, a ball bouncing on one of those parachutes or whatever, where it keeps getting buoyed up by the, the activity underneath it. Or like, um, you know, something on an ocean, in, a, in the ocean waves that's getting, you know, pushed up and moved around. Uh, that's what happens in that energy of the the puddle of love i keep calling it the play space um, that space where everything is accepted and encouraged expression is encouraged so that's this that's the space that i went into um pretty easily in this improvisation which makes me really happy you know whatever the conditions were that day that that helped me get there i'm grateful for that from four months ago we smiled in the same spot three and a half months ago yeah you know feeling whatever it is in there i don't know if you're feeling it too from the comfort of your desk chair um or wherever it is that you're watching this uh it's so neat how how music can buoy that um and this is kind of a revelation to me uh, as a as a music centered psychotherapist um, music therapist, I, and as someone who's played in bands and played with different groups and that kind of thing, improvising with different people, I've often thought, you know, it's the people using music to, to buoy things. And, um, and what I'm seeing here, it's like this guy, me a couple of months ago, just by myself and yet buoyed in that same space, uh, which says to me, oh yeah, awesome. Like I can go into this 
I don't need to have permission from other people. I can go into it, lead myself there. Um, one story that's coming to mind that I want to share because it's so electrifying is um, I was working with this client and this this beautiful uh, little girl, she was 16 and she, uh, you know, had leg braces on, had a very tiny body. Um, I don't remember exactly what her, her condition was, um, but she wasn't really developing in the same way that others were. Um, she was nonverbal, but she would make some sounds and she had these incredible eyes where she would, you know, look over and have this little, this little smirk. Um, she also ate through a feeding tube and she had her mom and a, usually a worker were present when I was doing the sessions. And I, I love this song. Um, ah, people say she's crazy. She's got diamonds on the soles of her shoes. It's probably my favorite song of all time, I'd have to say. Just the the bounce in it, and it is like, to me, it's so play space, puddle of love, invitational. It's like, if you can resist entering that uh, space, wow, you got some power, uh, you know? Not that I would recommend resisting entering that space with that song. And I mean, I know everybody's different, and they, they resonate with different things, and they're drawn into different things, different soul codes, different heart frequencies. Um, but for me, that one's like a magic key. Diamonds on the soles of her shoes. I find it irresistible and have for, you know, that album came out when I was five. Uh, years and years. Ta -na -na -na. Ta -na -na -na. Awesome. One little story. One year for my birthday, my incredible wife, Margot, uh, secretly took singing lessons to learn that song and then got the karaoke tracks, put it on. She had me sit in a chair and she appeared wearing a shirt that said, let God sing. And she sang that song to me. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> so good so good like that's that's being seen you know that's having someone jump right into the the heart space the play space with me so um my eyes aren't black by the way that's just the that's just the the dimness and the light tonight uh back to this little girl and the, her worker and her her mom so you know we'd be doing the sessions and i'd be you know working to engage her in different ways and meeting her in her subtle gestures, her subtle sounds. And oftentimes we would end the sessions with diamonds on the soles of her shoes. And it would just get like electric, you know, that her worker would get her up out of her chair and she'd have these, you know, I'm not sure she could balance on her own, so her worker would kind of hold her hands and move her around, and the mom would be dancing, and the worker's dancing, and it was just like, you know, there are times where it's like I can see gold specks filling the room. It's like that, that fabric that connects life when joy is uber magnified becomes visible and, and you can taste it and it's like all of us are wow you know in in awe of it that's an example that comes to mind about the, the play space the play field and to me you know i'm in that space i'm a, a therapist i'm being paid this money to come in and work to these particular goals and that kind of thing and those are the experiences that are just like who cares what the goals are? This is like, 
this, I was going to say liquid gold, <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> you know, it's that, it's that undeniable, holy smokes, this is awesome. Um, and that's, that's an incredible thing. I've had that at, in nursing homes, you know, retirement residences, all kinds of different places where it's like the the executive director comes by with their checkbooks and, you know, their notepads and legal paper or whatever. And they, whoa, that's amazing what's happening in here. Um, and it's like, yeah, I might be the one facilitating that, but it's, it's people's willingness to lean into that space that magnifies it and makes it so glorious. Okay, let's get back into it. Love this, this smile that's happening right now. Definitely get loose. Let it go. Becoming unshackled. Like really taking some chances. Oh, this sneaky little chromatic. Get loose. The leg coming up. You know, the chromatics to me say like, chromatics for those non-musicians in the household are the, you know, this, this kind of uh, snaky, sneaky, um, yeah, I mean, I don't need to name the energy of those. You can name that. What is that energy? When, when the chromatics come in. It's cool. Like, you know, it's, it's like um, trickster almost. Somebody who sees through the, the facades and is kind of, hmm, let's, uh, let's pull the pins out here and let things get loose. <laughs> There's a comment from somebody that I haven't seen in years. And this is actually somebody that I went to university with. So I did my undergrad in music in Toronto, like I'm 40 now, 27, 26 to 30, that age. And there was somebody I met in the gospel choir and we used to get together and improvise and very much, uh, uh, you know, play space kind of way, like just letting it, letting it rise up. This person I haven't heard from in years who said, you know, wrote this comment, nice to see you and hear you, that kind of thing, uh, <clears throat> made me very happy. <laughs> Thank you. 
minutes. I was gonna stop. Same here both times. But it was like too tasty. You know, I didn't wanna I didn't wanna let that go. Wanted to stay with it. Uh, this this reminds me of um, a video, a YouTube video that I saw, and I'll, I'll put a link into it. It's not my video, um, where it's about the first joiner. You know, there's the person who's putting themselves out there, but the real hero is the person that joins that person in that space. That's the person that says to everyone else, hey, this is a legit thing to do. Let's enter this space. Um, that, ah, it's interesting. You know, I'm here, I am talking about leading into that space. Um, yeah, and I think there's a lot of power in that. And at the end here, someone else comes in and amplifies it. Uh, so a little shout out to that too. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for uh, coming and being in the play space here. I could feel it. I could feel it. We're, we're transcending the bounds of time here because I'm filming this now. You're not watching this now. But when you are watching it, I'm feeling it now. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Deep love. See you next time.